Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And I, I can't tell you, a couple weeks ago, I would have had no idea I'd be making so many videos about Elizabeth, a contestant who's no longer even on the show. But uh, we're going to play what Nick Vial has to say about Elizabeth in the point that, hey, Clayton just wasn't that into her. So the question remains, was he that into Shanae or is he making, is he letting the penis do the picking? We have all these questions we need to ask. We're going to play that clip. Do me a favor. Follow me on Instagram at dneals and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're almost at 52,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? And we'll get right into this story. I can't tell you how wild this video is going on the Dave Neal show. Uh, I've made a video about the judges walking off the set of um, The Masked Singer when it was revealed to be uh, Rudy Giuliani. And if you got to go watch that, it's, it's really taken off on my new channel. It's going viral over there. So if you want non-bachelor content, you know where to get it. All right, let's just play the entirety of this two-plus-minute clip, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll discuss it after. Here's Nick Vial's take on Elizabeth. I, because this is what we do on the show. We just, we just throw out alternative <laughs> theories. It's not that I don't think Elizabeth has handled it very well. And mm-hmm. it's not that I don't feel bad that her entire stint on The Bachelor was cannibalized by this drama mm-hmm. with Shanae. But it's the most airtime she was ever going to get because we do know now that Clayton had absolutely no interest in her. Because yeah. if he did, she would have been on the show. All right, that's a good point. He's saying if it, wa- if it wasn't for this drama with Shanae, she would have had no airtime. And, you know, that might be true. And that that is that is not a disservice to Elizabeth's character. That just goes to show maybe Elizabeth isn't that dramatic and she would have just blended in more, which is totally fine. And, and I think there, there is, like, Shanae might be all these things. And whatever those things you want to say, maybe it's white wine. Maybe it's just, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's wanting to be on TV. Maybe she's still completely self-aware. Maybe it's just, maybe she's emotionally immature to be on the show. I don't know what it is. We're, we're not, uh, I'm not saying any of, I mean, it's great TV, but. I like when Nick dances around because it means he's about to say something that he knows is going to get a lot of hate. And <laughs> we're all here for it. I'm not defending her behavior, but there is no but- doubt as we talked about last week that she feels like she's an outsider Mm -hmm. and she is being like, I don't think she's lying when she's saying you're ignoring me. Like the women are ignoring her. It's we've talked about this every season. It's very high school. It's very mean girls, energy, mean boys when it's the bachelorette, whatever you want to call it. But like, it is that. And when you are on the outside of that click, it sucks. And I believe, like, Shanae 100% feels like she is being bullied. I, you know, and what is bullying, you know? And it's such a, you know, we just literally talked about, it's such a, uh, with Vanessa and and Rachel, is that uh, you're in this high school atmosphere. Emotions are wildly, like, heightened. Sleep is low. Sleep is low. Sleep is low. Alcohol is high. Uh, And... And people have a way of kind of being catty and being dismissive and talking behind your back or talking through walls or whatever. And that would drive anyone nuts. Yeah. And and someone like Shanae, who, you know, maybe, maybe she's not as emotionally as mature as other people in life. I don't know. Maybe she is drinking too much white wine and maybe she's handling it all poorly. But it, it's just something does seem a little off with why you know the house you know what i'm saying and with elizabeth lying like not and i will i i respect shanae in the sense that she she was like you were in that fucking hot tub yeah. and i'm you know it's just like you could tell that shanae was like i know you fucking were mm-hmm. and you're you're lying hot tub gate folks oh we've got tea brewing in the hot tub now listen I respect and appreciate Nick for looking at it from the vibe, from the point of view of the bully. Every good movie out there has a villain that you can also be like hu- humanize them as well. And and I think if you want to see Shanae as someone we could humanize, again, don't get me wrong. Don't get, don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare get me wrong here. Oh, <laughs> my, 
<laughs> my uh, whole mic just fell down. I was fixing it earlier, if you didn't see. It fell down. I'm going to hold it up now. All right, there it is. My uh, The set's coming down. What are they doing to us? It's Shanae's fault. Uh, don't get me wrong here. Uh, I feel like there's a voodoo doll for me out there. Someone's poking at me. Um, there is potential socioeconomic difference here between Shanae and Elizabeth, where Shanae may feel threatened by Elizabeth's intelligence, right? What do they call that? The attraction of intelligence? Sapiosexual? Any sapios out there? You like this? A bachelor IQ intelligence we have going on? But Shanae clearly couldn't articulate her points in the way that Elizabeth could. And that, that's no strike against Elizabeth. It just means Shanae could be feeling, like, like any bully, super threatened in one way or another, whether it be by Elizabeth's um, vocabulary, the way she's able to articulate things. When Elizabeth's fighting, she says, please provide me excuses of when I was being a bully. And then Shanae the bully's like, ah, you know what I mean? So you, so if you were to sort of try to put yourself in Shanae's shoes, um, you, you would see that uh, she may be playing the heel, to use a shoe pun, the heel being uh, kind of pushing into the role of the villain because she can't compete with Elizabeth uh, maybe intellectually. Ash and Kay, some of our favorite people. We're recording this live on the Patreon, by the way. And I did really break. I re I'm holding this whole thing up right now. This really did just like pound into my arm. My whole metal thing just fell on me. We're not going to cut. Not for you folks. But Ash and Kay on the pi live Patreon said, um, we have a rogue theory that Shanae might have a crush on Elizabeth and not realize it. So breaking news, folks. Ash and Kay. And of course, Ash and Kay um, are... are um, our go-to Canadian uh, lesbian couple. Um, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm always afraid to say anything, <laughs> you know, not for fear of being canceled, but just, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep up with the times. But but they, but they their theory is that, hey, we, we uh, you know, is, is Gator our term we're still using? I don't know. Please let me know if, uh, if I've misspoken here. But they're saying, hey, we think Elizabeth is into, I'm sorry, we think Shanae is into Elizabeth. Ash and Kay said she's obsessed with her in a way that just seems almost like an intense high school crush. Crush. Now, Ash and Kay, now I feel bad. Did I did I correctly use the term gaydar, or is that something we're not saying anymore? Respectfully, I, I am willing to uh, rescind that. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's exactly what it could be. Or maybe if it's not like a sexual thing, Elizabeth, like the rest of us, just wants to belong. I'm sorry, Shanae, like the rest of us, just wants to belong. And she feels like... She never got the chance to do that. So I can understand Nick's points here. I don't necessarily agree with them, but 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 it, it is a case to be made. Um, so some people had commented, I agree with parts of this. Elizabeth was absolutely in the right, but I think Shanae genuinely felt like she was being bullied. Does that mean anyone was at fault? No. Her being ostracized was a consequence of her own action. Now, as you remember, um, we don't... Geez, how far back down the human centipede do we go here? With Elizabeth, we have... Um, we have a Shanae immediately being called up. Oh, you need to apologize. You need this. And everyone sort of called her out, which is sort of like social ostracization. Did I say that right? Oh, boy. Last video of the day. I can barely get through this, folks. Um, all right. By the way, we do have a breaking news update. Ash and K in the Patreon says, Dave, you're fine. We use the term gaydar all the time. Well, you know, if if, if we're not going to, uh, you know, if gaydar is not fine, I would just say that Ash and K are using their radar to find other... Okay. Either way. Gaydar, radar. Oh, the English language never disappoints, but I sure do. Uh, by the way, your avatar is very sexy. You have a very sexy... Uh, at, with a superhuman avatar, whatever that is. All right, so anyway, we're, we're recording this live on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. If you want to check out how we do the behind the scenes for these videos, it's been quite the day over here in Dave Neal land, working with Dave. But either way, um, there are people that are sympathizing with Shanae, and it doesn't take, you know, we're not like digging all over the place for this. They're out there. This is somebody uh, who posted on Reddit that uh, has AD, as a person with ADD, a different perspective, Elizabeth and her ADHD. I understand that Elizabeth has ADHD, which includes auditory processing difficulties, which, <coughs> excuse me, which of course is why Elizabeth said she didn't realize Shanae was in the hot tub. So total understandable. She has explained that is why it appears like she was ignoring Shanae and why she cannot remember being in the hot tub and Shanae offered, offering shrimp. While this is a medical condition, just like my ADD is, it, that is not her fault. There are things she can do about it. There are auditory training programs that help you improve your auditory processing ability and other brain training programs, tools to help you identify and reduce auditory distractions. While I'm getting at, what I'm getting at is there are a lot of things you can do to help and improve and even overcome some of the issues that come with ADHD and auditory processing difficulties. 
Of course, I don't know what Elizabeth has all tried, but I know they have really helped me. Uh, I think sometimes stating our ADD, ADHD challenges to explain why we may have hurt someone's feelings can start to sound like an excuse, especially if we state our condition as the reason every time we run into a conflict with someone. We have no idea how often Elizabeth may have brought it up to the house that we are not privy to. If we know we have these challenges, we have to work on ways to improve our situation and learn, utilize tools that help improve our processing abilities. I know what ADD related challenges are and I have worked really hard on them so that they don't impact my relationships, interactions with others. We have to take accountability for our own medical conditions and do what we can so that we don't become toxic or hurtful to others. It may not be fair, but it is our responsibility. If we know we have auditory processing problems, then do something about it so that we don't continue to hurt other people. There are other, there are always ways and things you can do. Always choices and things you can do. Shanae's comments didn't bother me, and I think the hate she's receiving is a bit over the top. But it takes two people to get along and two people to argue. So while Shanae bears some fault in her conflict with Elizabeth, Elizabeth is not blameless. I don't think Elizabeth has ever apologized to Shanae for ignoring her and was very patronizing with Shanae when she explained she has ADHD. Then she lied about being in the hot tub and once again not acknowledging Shanae was, uh, when she was talking to her. All right, so the idea that um, she was that the idea that Elizabeth was very patronizing sort of adds up, and maybe she's not trying to be, but maybe her way of ADHD splaining to Shanae was off-putting to somebody who didn't possess the same intellect. I think we can. I think I think we have some.